you know, just talk as if you're talking. Forget that there's a podcast going on. Yeah, no, we're we're not Whoa, podcasting. There's a podcast. There's a going podcast. On. Hello, this is our anime podcast. We've never done this before. We don't even know if this might be a thing, but we're just kind of going to go for it. Sometimes we watch anime together, uh, and then we talk about it. Um, introduce yourselves. Now. Hi, my name's Sean, and I watch anime sometimes. Whoa. Hi, my name's Dylan, and I watch anime even less than Sean. Uh, hello, I am Brennan, and I am True Senpai. Anyways, um... We watched One Punch Man. Where do you want to begin? Where we should start to... with what we all think about One Punch Man. Just the generally, anime. Yeah. just like off the off the. Just top right of off the bat. Okay. Yeah. Let's go okay. one by one. So, Brendan, do you want to start? Yeah, sure. Okay, I thought it was really funny. I thought it was very lighthearted, very easy watching. Um, as you guys both know, I'd like killed the whole thing in one day. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. Um, like extra episodes, OVAs and all. So yeah, I was very, very immersed in it, you can say. Um, right. Definitely. Uh, yeah, it was funny. It was, it was good. It was good? <laughs> Don't classic. Classic. Um... Branson. <laughs> So, okay, I don't have, like, a lot of experience with the anime, but I, I remember before when we were talking about it, one of the things I said annoyed me was, like, the classic animeisms, and, like, right. that was one of the reasons why you guys told me to watch Full Metal Alchemist, you're like, it doesn't really have a lot, as a really good story. Yeah. So I found One Punch Man to be really refreshing because it was very, like, self-aware, and it poked fun at, at itself and at animeisms, like, quite a bit. Oh, yeah. It's like, and, like it was, like, hilarious, like, what, when it did that, It's right? like an like, anti-Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, yeah. 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 See, so it's, like, every... <laughs> <laughs> anti-Dragon Ball Z. It's, like, yeah, every, 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 like, shonen-ism. So, yeah. like, a shonen show being, like, uh, an anime that's geared towards, like... 13-year-old guys. Yeah, yeah. more or less. Um, it kind of took those and spun it a bit and made it funny. Right. Um, very much so in like the premise of the entire show where it's about one guy who's just way too powerful because like in every single one of those other shows it's about like the main character getting stronger and stronger and stronger and every time they get stronger you think that's the strongest but then they're like wait no there's a super saiyan four yeah or like we're really shitting on Dragon Ball Z today. <laughs> no, yeah. It is like, it's just power creep that nobody likes. Yeah, no, it's like yeah. like every show like Bleach, Naruto, Dragon Ball like, Z, all that shit. They get as powerful as they could possibly be. The first episode always starts off like, oh my god, this guy is going to be the chosen one. Yeah. And he's like already so powerful. And then at the end yeah. of the season, he's like the most powerful person ever. Yeah. And then they're like insanely powerful. It's like Naruto's going to become Hokage. He's yeah. got a fox inside him. But then like... <sighs> All like, these references are lost on me. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, you must know there's... No, no, but go ahead. There's, uh, Goku went to Kaioken. Yeah. That's one. Then yeah. Super Saiyan 1, 2, yeah. three. 3. 4 is not really canon, so we'll stop it at 3. <laughs> then there's Super Saiyan God. Then yeah. Super Saiyan Blue. There's a black Goku. Let's not talk about that. Like et- ethnicity? <laughs> no. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no, not really. Uh, but... <laughs> That'd be interesting. But I think there might be another Super Saiyan coming up. I'm not sure. But the first su- female Super Saiyan is coming up. Oh. I don't know if you saw that. That's she looks progressive. Like, she looks like Broly. Broly. Or however. Well, yeah. Broly. It was weird that um, like Pan couldn't go Super Saiyan. Right? Just like, just yeah. as an aside. Yeah, no, that's, what was yeah. that? Bullshit. Yeah. That's she was like strong shit. as shit. Yeah, yeah. That's fucking garbage. garbage. True sexism. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's, that is what <laughs> that was kind of stupid, anime is. Actually, yeah. No, no, no. It's like, it's hella it's sexist. All the girls are, uh, very like over-sexualized and, right. um, made to tantalize young boys. <laughs> yeah. So um, I'll say what I thought of the show. Yeah. You, can, you didn't, yeah. Um, kind of went on a tangent. It was a good show. Pretty funny. Um, the idea of it, like the concept is really, like really good. The execution yeah. of, like, the 12 episodes of the show, like, was not really what I was expecting, and it was, 
like not exactly what I wanted. Did you expect there to be more of like a story arc? Did you go no. in cold? Like you knew stuff about it though, right? Like I didn't. All so I I'm knew wondering was, if that's why. All I knew was like the base overall concept. Like there's a dude who wants to like be as powerful as ever, and he wants like a real challenge. Yeah. But he beats everybody in one punch. See, and that's, that's, what's, that's see, I didn't even that know I that. That's all I knew. I yeah. knew that the series was one punch man see I which kind of actually gives you a lot but <laughs> yeah it's like I, I didn't realize that it was about him looking for a challenge or that he felt like oh i'm so strong and i'm bored with my life right i just figured it was just about a guy who just happened to be really strong and i felt like yeah there would be some kind of tongue-in-cheekism there but um yeah right it wasn't super huge yeah things i liked were um how the show is about him like looking for this challenge yeah and like the funny and the like the monotonous nature of the show yeah. like there's just a bunch of stupid shit that he cares about that yeah. like ends up being really <laughs> funny like he cares about making it to the supermarket on time so he's yeah that was hilarious people. he's like in the middle of that fight and he's yeah. like wait one week from now yeah that <laughs> would be saturday which means today today's saturday. saturday it's like i missed the set <laughs> yeah that whole running joke of him being like a coupon cutter is like yeah really, yeah really good but like i didn't like Especially like the latter half of the season where it folk it's like I was watching the X Men. Why am I watching the X Men with all these like kind of side bullshit superheroes? What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, just because they start introducing yeah, a lot of heroes. Yeah, all these people in the show. Like yeah. the second half of the season isn't One Punch Man. I mean, it's like the Justice League. But it's well, like, what else could they do? Sense. I feel no, like they kind of had saying, to do something that said, like that. Season there. two's coming, so I mean, they must have other material. Yeah, no, no, no. Over. It's just like, I feel like it was kind of lore building. It's just like, oh, right. here's this guy and he's so crazy strong, but he's situated within this like world of like, yeah. there's other heroes and they're all just normal dudes, like fucking right. bike man. <laughs> yeah, what was that? Uh, it was something Rider. Oh, I forgot uh, what his actual Moon Rider. Oh, yeah, Moon Rider. Oh, so God. Just the cycle! <laughs> oh, so one thing I should say right off the bat... so funny. One thing I should say right off the bat is that I don't understand your reference necessarily because I watched the dub. Oh, oh what? You guys, something fucking I gotta say. I know, out. I saw you, you message... Fucking I have no right to really say that because I know nothing about anime, but yeah. Exactly. Yeah, you're, you're wow. so... There's some things I gotta say, especially for anybody who might be listening to this. Anybody who rips on dubs is an idiot. There's a huge, well, huge here's the like, thing. No, uh, no, no. fan base for dubs, and dubs are like really, really, really well done now. Like, oh, one thing I gotta say, after watching the OVAs in Japanese, and watching like the original 12 episodes in dub, mm-hmm. um, the dub is like really true to like how Saitama or One Punch Man talks. See, like, oh, okay. he's really dead in the dub. Like, he sounds like how he should. In the anime, I feel like... I mean, not in the, in the like, Japanese um, dub. Yeah, uh-huh. You don't really get that because you can't hear the true inflection of how he's talking and everybody, especially... Wait, what I picked up on that. In but fact, like, it was, like, almost the opposite for me because I was watching the whole thing in Japanese and right. I was like, I feel like a lot of this wouldn't translate, like, directly unless, like, the voice actor was, like, really, really good at it. The voice actor is really, really good. You should watch the dubs these days. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Well, yeah. see, here's the thing. It's like, I don't know. There's always been, like, a, a, a weird thing in the back of my head about, like, the lips syncing up with what the person's saying. And, like, sure. when they they animate it, it's, like, for Japanese. So right. it's, like, you get kind of more of a, a truer version, I guess. But, I mean, yeah, that's the right. thing. It's, like, I guess dubs are getting better, so it's not, like, a, a big deal. It's, where Yeah, I wouldn't even say that they're getting better. They've been better for, like, over a decade now. I believe you, but yeah. I wouldn't know. Right, yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, no, that being so said, yeah, it's like... I watched the 12 episodes in English dub, and I had to watch the OVAs in Japanese. Yeah. Because I couldn't find them in English. See, that's the thing. I, I thought a lot of the humor and, like, the, the delivery and, like, right. even just, like, the sort of, like, mannerisms he has, right. like, were all funny because they felt, like, organically Japanese. It's just, like, right. how, like, a Japanese person would, like, talk or, like, I don't know, sort of emote in right. some of those situations so um like i mean i got it because like i mean i don't speak japanese right but when you hear him talking um it, it just kind of makes sense it's like mm-hmm. oh that's why that's funny yeah like, i can see that now like I, I i guess i would like rather watch the dub like the english dub or oh, sorry dub. we'll just like i guess actually to be honest i didn't know there was a dub 
Yeah, but, I saw you, know, you guys. Either, I saw really. you guys mention it to each other because Brennan didn't think that there was a dub, and I wanted to wait until now to bring it up. That yeah. I watched the whole thing in dub. Yeah, and it, I got to say, it's it's real good. Well, yeah, yeah. no, I because I, just like the dead pen of mm-hmm. like Saitama is really like. I feel really like that's good. the key. As long yeah. as that's there, yeah, then they've captured One Punch Man. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. That's a lot of what I found funny, especially like that that classic face the. The him being dead inside yeah, yeah just just the way it's drawn is just really it's funny right uh yeah no no, no. uh Sorry i agree but yeah silence. no what, what i was gonna say was like the dub just in general if if i'm watching a dub then i'll have more opportunity to focus on exactly the picture right so sometimes i felt like i was like reading and then i had to look up and a couple times i guess the dialogue was really fast right like, yeah, see, that's... The, which kind of screws with me a okay, bit. Yeah, especially in the OVAs, I felt like the dialogue was going by pretty fast. I yeah, I paused it a couple times. I in, like, yeah. 11 minutes. Like, yeah. Like, Your yeah. argument for dubs, which I agree with being, like, that is probably the biggest point, is that, oh, you can focus more uh, on, the, on the visuals. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to really think about what's being said because right. you're not reading, you're not multitasking. Right. But, I don't know. Um... I was worried that the humor wouldn't translate at all. So. I feel like I could talk about dub over sub for oh, like yeah. this could be for like an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We can <laughs> we can do that. Yeah, like, we later. should probably we talk will. about One Punch Man for <laughs> the rest of it. Oh yeah. So um, wait, I think we we went a bit off the rails because I said that justice cycle thing, and then you said yeah. you don't get my reference. Yeah, yeah. yeah it yeah, was yeah. when the bicycle guy. Is the they're thing the huge sea king monster, like, oh, and then he ass. runs and then he just throws his bike at the guy, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, he yeah, just yeah. yells like a justice cycle. Oh, yeah. like, <laughs> like, his back, right? just hits it and then just falls. Oh, like God. his attack name. Oh, yeah, and when he like stands up to like, pedal and he's like, yeah, he's like phase two, and he like starts like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. but he's actually just like you know standing on. His but all that, yeah, it was really cool. Like that, just like so self aware, like right, right, like constantly poking fun of at. Like the whole anime genre yeah. and those kind of anime. Also, just like... something that I found really funny was like the over the top violence. It was it's just so crazy. Like yeah. he, I wasn't expecting it. I thought just based on the tone and how like funny and whatever it was, it's like I didn't expect people to be dying as often as they did, like yeah. dying for real. And also, um, just like the amount of gore there is, it's like Saitama literally punches the flesh off of people's. Bones. So I have a very <laughs> yeah. specific instance to bring up in that. The first time he uses consecutive normal punches, <laughs> yeah. oh, I destroyed <laughs> some. I screenshotted <laughs> that because I yeah. wanted to bring that up today. Is it oh con- my God. consecutive normal punches, and he just like obliterates the top. And he just—I don't game. know if he yeah. if he screams that in the dub, but in the sub, he just mutters it. He's like, um. Consecutive normal punches and just yeah, <laughs> splatters no. the person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Dylan's so showing good. us a screenshot yeah. of Is this the consecutive lion? normal punches this, right now. What? Oh, I don't know. He only uses the move twice. Yeah. No, this was um, in the finale. This finale. was in this was in the last episode, I think. Oh, okay. Or the second oh, last so. episode, yeah, because I'm just looking at when I screenshotted it and that's right. when I was watching the last episode. Oh, okay. oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Um Yeah. One thing I want to bring up from the first episode is uh, his dream sequence where um, Saitama's asleep and he has like this dream about him finally having like the best battle of his life. Yeah. Oh, where, like, yeah. All these like <laughs> all the mole people from underground the come up. The subterraneans. He's yeah. like finally. It's like finally. And even then in his dream he's beating everyone. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's just so but many like, of them that he feels fulfilled. Exactly. And like the king is actually strong and yeah. then like he wakes up and it's just like And it's just like this weebly ass little <laughs> They're like rats and they're yeah. like yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, he actually terrain. fights more people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and he's just so funny. pissed about it. Oh man, yeah, yeah that that juxtaposition was. Just I also crazy. I really like the first like I'm a big fan of like especially the first half of the season. Yeah, especially because they do this, they like play with conventions a lot. So at the end of each episode, there's like a teaser for the next episode. Oh yeah, and yeah, you think like... it's gonna <laughs> launch into this huge like three episode, four episode arc. Oh no, it like what's gonna happen for the rest like... of the season? Yeah. But really, they resolve everything at the end of each episode. It's episodic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was interesting. It's yeah. Essentially, yeah, episodic. So it was like only he's... at the end it changed. Sorry, go on. Though. Yeah, exactly. oh wait, no, I thought you meant about like a literal like like frame at the end where they're like next time on One Punch Man, but it, 
doesn't go anywhere. Oh, they no, no, no. always get cut off. No, that's not what I was talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was talking about how, like, they show you a clip at the end of each episode, and you think, like, it's alluding to this, like, grand master scheme that's moving. Oh, yeah, But no, really, but it's nothing. That's just it. Yeah. yeah, that's right, because there was that episode where it was like they were going to, at the end of the episode, it's like they were going to go fight those guys in that big tower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the generals just punches it, and then they're like, all and right, well, I guess. Like, that's yeah. it. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like, oh, I was like, oh, finally, they're kind of getting to like, this is like the yeah. arc of the anime, like they're fighting these also, bad guys. I thought like the cyborg dude was going to be like this intensely evil man. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah when they first show him. Yeah. yeah, he's like, wait, can I be your disciple? Yeah, yeah. Like, it's pretty jokes. And I guess in the OVA, you find out that he was just trying to like secretly steal the French fries of Sidemon, <laughs> like, see. Because he wants to know what makes him so strong. Yeah, exactly. Wait, this was, um, this is, that OVA episode was probably after the, um, like, the Mosquito Girl thing, right? Because yeah, it would have when, to be, yeah, because that's yeah. when he saves him. Yeah, he, he shows up and he splatters her against yeah. the building. And then he's just like, oh my god, I want to learn from you. But then right. he's like, come back later. And then he, I guess he spies on him and steals his fries. And yeah, shit. yeah, um, yeah. Um, Wait, hold on. In episode one, the crabs laugh? Get, 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 get. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, you yeah, didn't yeah, watch yeah, that. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. funny. Oh, you missed that. Oh, he did God. it again in the episode preview, too, oh, or at the end yeah. of the episode. One. So stupid. Oh, oh disgusting. Yeah. No, I liked the, it, though. The crab's Japanese voice mm -hmm. in the first episode is something else. Uh -huh. yeah. um, it's really disgusting. Right. Um, cool. It makes you hate the crab more, Yeah, I, I feel. Um, yep. Um, something I thought was, like, super, super cool. Like, okay, as, especially as opposed to something like Dragon Ball Z, where, like, Goku would do something like meet Frieza for the first time. <laughs> Frieza's like, oh, I went past planet Namek and destroyed the shit out of it, and now I'm here, blah, 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 blah. They talk for a whole episode. Yeah. Yeah. And in this One Punch Man, has like he's like, if you can't say your origin story in 20, 20 seconds, oh my yeah, god, it's so 20 good. seconds, whatever, yeah. he's like, you might as well just get on with it. <laughs> he's and just then, getting impatient. And then the cyborg like, dude is like, like hold on, if you can't say the story, yeah, he does it after my master. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he brings it back later on. I was gonna bring like, that up too because that was also challenging as hell to watch in the sub version, right? Because Genos was talking, and like the whole joke was he keeps talking faster, yeah, yeah, and yeah. the story is just so long. Oh, yeah, so it was so hard to follow and i was like right. what is this guy on about and then that would have been a great like, part for the dub deal <laughs> and then one punch man just like i yeah, actually, wrote here actually in, says yeah. in the same episode that that happens episode three i believe i wrote down this note saying this dub is great great worse great <laughs> worse great use of the word dude dude they use dude a lot and it, i thought it was really cool maybe they use Wait, it pro they didn't in the sub i don't think so like some people out. they say dude in the dub. I don't know if that's like the trans like the correct translation of whatever I don't slang they might be using the in the sub. Yeah. Um, but who knows? Wait, who says dude specifically? Uh definitely Saitama. Oh. Probably some other people. Like to cut sure him off to be like, dude. No, just in general. They just oh. use it and I'm like, <laughs> nice, nice localization there. Like you really make me feel like I'm at home. Like wow. this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, um yeah, no. Also, something, you, like, just that scene, talking about that scene. Yeah. Um, it's like the layout of Saitama's apartment is the funniest thing ever. It's just because he has, like, a manga collection. Yeah, yeah. And, like, a weird little piggy bank and, like, a single cactus on his balcony. And it's just very minimal and funny. And it's right. just like, like, why? Whoa, I did not pay attention to that. Go oh, on. yeah, no. It's just like, I, I don't know. It's just like kind of building Saitama's personality. It's like, oh, he is the type of guy to have just a bookshelf for manga and yeah. a single cactus as like his only like i don't know yeah it's like all that he needs yeah. and his tv which yeah. he watches all the time yeah that's all he does whenever he's, just he's watching at home. dramas yeah i really like how goofy he is like through the whole thing just kind of just like <laughs> unaware yeah. and there are like so many times where it, i think like toward the end like he's on that ship i don't know if i'm jumping ahead should i not do that no, yet whatever, dude. Yeah, um it. but it's just like he's in the ship and like all the other heroes are talking and he just punches through the hole in the ship and he's like <laughs> and then he's like oh cool i made it out like he's, just, like, he's like, stupid like that he's yeah. like oh good i'm here like it's like, so oh, weird something infuriating like, about that yeah um i mean like it's funny but it's also so frustrating is that saitama never gets credit from the other heroes as to how strong he is yeah, yeah. it's just like why is this idiot here? Mm -hmm. Because they never see how strong he is. Like they don't realize the epic battle at like yeah, the very end yeah. of the like the series. Yeah, even that he saved them. Yeah. They're yeah. like, oh, have you been here the whole time? It's like, yeah, no big deal. I just killed the leader and everyone on the ship. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, 
That's also another thing. I, I, I was saying that earlier today, but I don't know if you would have had that in the in the in the dub, but right. just like Saitama so many times, like Genos just like says something and then he says like, Well oh. like he's like, Well, oh. like I don't know. <laughs> yeah. like, that was like his go to like reaction. <laughs> right. So they probably so use jokes. more of an American yeah. sound effect like, for oh. that. He's like oh. in Japan oh. they have oh. I mean like See in that's subs. what I mean in like the way a Japanese person would react. And yeah. I still right. get oh. it. It's like oh. very yeah. natural. It's like oh <laughs> right yeah yeah i don't know sensei <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah. so funny um oh god but yeah you were saying yeah uh that's like a very japanese thing to do in like all the subs they have like those little like micro reactions to things yeah, yeah like those it. very tiny sound effects i found those very subtleties funny. yeah right yeah i wouldn't say that the american version doesn't have any of those um no i yeah there's like ways to do it exactly in yeah, english yeah. um, um so around episode four, I think the villain is that guy who tries to rally up a bunch of people who don't want to work in society. Oh yeah, like, oh, yeah. The bald <laughs> guy, yeah. Great. yeah, yeah, the socialist guy, yeah, yeah. hammerhead like, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that part was so, so funny. good. I was like, this is perfect. Just a bunch of people in society who don't want to work, which are essentially just like One Punch Man. Like Saitama says. Um, like, oh man, these guys are like just like me. Like, yeah. I don't want to work. That's why I became a superhero. Yeah. <laughs> but then he's like, oh no, they have the same hairstyle as me. They're down. stealing I my look. Be... I actually have that yeah, quote. Like, they're stealing, they're stealing my, my look. look. Oh, yeah. my God. No, but there's a thing though in that episode where I think I'm pretty sure it's like a TV report or something. Right. Where they're talk, where they're like referencing these guys, but um, it's. Like, the, the reporter is like, oh, there's an epidemic of young people who are trying to follow their dreams or whatever and end yeah. up becoming lazy, useless members of society. Yeah. I'm like, wow, this is this is relatable. Right. Maybe I'm a useless piece of shit. I don't know. Yeah, that's also pretty funny. That's also the first episode with that Sonic... Oh, Sonic, yeah. Sonic, Sonic, Sonic the, Ninja person. The Hedgehog Ninja. So, yeah, something like stupid. Yeah, I forget what their name is. Um... Is that a he or a she? It's a he, right? I think it's, it's a, it's a based on it's a the man. Voice? I for, it's a guy. I watched the English dub and I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is a dude. It is definitely a dude. Yeah. Um, because you see him in a sauna with his top off. Right. Oh yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, and they wouldn't do that in an anime. So between episodes four and ten, I took no notes. Oh really? Um, <laughs> because it all just like kind of flew by. I didn't really have any like strong thoughts uh, that differed from like the beginning of the show thoughts. Yeah. But like around episode ten, I wrote down, didn't expect the show to be so much like the X Men. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because like, so much of the focus not being on the main character and being around the things like around him. I mean, I've talked to a bunch of people about this. Yeah. And like they're all just like, yeah, well, like you know, there's only like a certain amount of ideas you could have about like one character. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, it's not like, there's a lot of, I don't want to like shit on the show because I really do <laughs> like the show. I love the concept. Yeah. No. yeah. Like, it's not what I was expecting to like slightly an amount that I didn't want. There's like a lot of ways for a show to be like what you're not expecting. Like obviously yeah, you can like yeah. surpass your expectations. Yeah. Yeah. This is right. just like, not what I was expecting in a lot of cool ways, but just like the one small way. When it turns into the Justice like, League, when just they're... not about. Do you just want it to be I, him? Like I, there, there like aren't I a bunch of people. It, him. it was just like they threw a lot of focus to like deliberately not be about him, which I thought was like a little odd. Yeah, like, like they had a whole half of the episode to be like oh, about, like the like, other like when they're fighting people. the aliens. It's like yeah, all these right, yeah, yeah. what they're doing fighting right the aliens yeah. in their own ways and stuff. See, right. I thought that was interesting in the way that. Um, like, they were trying to world build in a way. Because it's like, right. okay, you know this this world is inhabited with, like, normal people. And, like, there are normal people who want to be heroes. Right. Case in point, Bike Man. Yeah. Um, but it's like, what do the elites look like? Are there other people with superpowers? Are there people to, like, right. rival Saitama? Like, is there anyone who could, like, even come as close to being as strong as him? Like, right. one of the guys, his name is King or something, and he's supposedly the, the strongest, strongest guy in the world. Yeah. You never see him do anything. You never see him fight anyone, actually. Yeah. Um, do you ever find out who's number one in s -ring? Oh, he's not there. They don't they, show They mention him. his yeah. name, but he never shows up. Right, yeah. Also, they say, like, Metal Knight, he's not your friend. Like, yeah, yeah, and then Metal Knight shows up after the huge fight. Yeah, he's like, end. yeah, I'm just going to take all this stuff. That guy's an asshole. We saw that in the Meteor episode. Yeah, he just showed yeah, up he... to uh, test out his new weapon. He's like, yeah, I don't oh, really that's... care if this... Yeah. You must live out wasted. of the cities that always get attacked. Yeah. <laughs> These cities can't catch a break, by the yeah. way. 
Oh yeah, so I was like, why doesn't everyone just move? They always have to <laughs> evacuate like, like every episode. I didn't get a good look at like the world map when they showed it. Are we in an alternate u- version of the universe? Or, I like, think the so. World, or... I think so. I think it's like the Earth, future? though. Is it, it the future or alternate? Future? I think they refer I mean, to it as world. Earth, but yeah. like I I don't know what's going on a hundred percent because there's like city A to Z, and so I guess it's like one mega city. Right. It's just like I assume that's all in one country because they showed a yeah. whole Earth, yeah, right? Yeah, they yeah. showed there the is, planet. That is a planet. Like but I like that's to what I'm saying. Was there a move? Adventure time situation where there was like a yeah, like a disaster, attack, and then yeah. everyone just moved to one spot, and, and then everyone like, just collects themselves. Exactly. In so that. they like, collect to this one. I don't know, like area. Yeah. And they split it up into cities, and then this well, like rise of superheroes happens, and also yeah. this rise of villains who are like monsters and stuff. Yeah, yeah, maybe that's the reason. And there's the world mole people the Oh yeah, it's like yeah. there's just so much. Oh, ridiculous yeah, I guess that makes sense. Fantasy yeah. stuff where it's like, oh wait, where's the line here between like how realistic they're trying to make it and how? Right. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah. Also, the fact that si- the source of Saitama's power is just like a regular strength routine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was, dude. That was so funny. I was talking to some other people. That was episode like, three. I think the cyborg dude. Wait, yeah. what's the cyborg dude's actual Genos. Genos. Yeah, Genos. Yeah. I thought you said genitals for a second. <laughs> genitals. Uh, Genos, uh, it's so funny when he's like, Master, you're not even saying an outrageous regiment. That's just <laughs> it's a normal, normal strength even, training. It's not even, <laughs> even high strength. It's just regular strength training. And you did it for how long? It's like three years. It's like, yeah. that's not even that long. <laughs> yeah, he's just freaking It's like, it. yeah, but I trained so hard, I lost all my hair. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, the OVA about him having hair again yeah. was like really funny. Yeah. <laughs> that's how you know um, it's in the past. Past. it's just like oh yeah. he has hair okay. actually the hair thing that's like another thing to talk about i never i guess i did but it's just like funny you never realize how much how important hair is in anime oh yeah to being a badass because oh, yeah. he looks oh, yeah. ridiculous I, through well, most I of it i actually never thought about that i know you've been comparing it's it to like, like Ball super Ball yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, he like, turns blonde yeah and it goes up yeah so it's like that's like like you know. Yu-Gi-Oh's, like, oh, yeah, like, like crazy, crazy gold dude. shit right yeah hair, like but, oh yeah like one Punch Man does have something like that. I think we all know what I'm about to say. Do we? It's him with the dead face going to the hyper style. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I the, love that. Okay, the OVAs, so good. the OVAs are so good. In the second one, or no, the first one, Yeah. I guess of like the six that they made after the very first one, blah, yeah. blah, the one where he gets his French fries stolen. <laughs> you see where he's approaching the guy with like yeah, the yeah, face yeah. mask on. He's like, you stole, stole my French fries. Face, like, like instantly he this, transforms. Like, he's walking down the street and he struts into the, like the evil. Like, yeah, look yeah, yeah. On his See, face. that's the thing. And it's like, so cool. This is very beautifully animated. Oh yeah, like, for sure. This looks great. All There's, the transitions and stuff. Even yeah, it's like just like facial expressions and stuff like that. A huge switching. thing in anime. The easiest way to tell like a lame anime anime apart from a good <laughs> one is like them shying away from animating. Oh yeah, there's like yeah. a bunch of anime um, where you just see a single shot and like the camera, maybe just the camera is moving, mm-hmm. but like nothing in the actual shot is animated. Yeah, because they're trying to like save money, save time. Like I understand. Oh, is that why they do that? Oh, of oh, course, of course. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wait, I guess in every, every frame like costs money. No, I know. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, like I, I've seen those shots like tons in anime, but I just never thought about that. That's the reason they do it. I just thought yeah. that that was just a part of the the, like the style like no. like animes they have these just well, still photo or it's like still thing that sure. are like even in the really through. good ones yeah, yeah. um because like, you see that and you hear a cicada you? in the background yeah every like, time <laughs> one of my favorite animes when i was in high school was air gear the show where everybody's just riding around on like rollerblades that are nice. like mechanically powered it was like very cool the music's awesome you've but talked about back, this before yeah going it back made to me think of your like seven for whatever reason, oh yeah just because hmm. i'm surfing Going back to watching uh, Air Gear like a year ago, I realized how awful it truly was. The music oh, wow. is, is amazing, bad? Is bad? but like it's essentially a show of images, still images. <laughs> There's no animation. Oh like, god, fuck. Yeah. interesting. So, yeah, I guess that makes a ton of sense. It oh, saves them. A bunch yeah, of yeah. Money. Also, speaking of modes of transportation, right? Um, and anime. When I saw uh, Bike Man for the first time, my instant thought was. Like, I wrote it down. Yeah. Was your fantasy show of kids on bikes. Oh, yeah. My idea for a movie that I'll make one day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That'll be amazing. We're not going to... We're going to have to delve into that too much because... Maybe another wanna, time. We don't want to spoil Sean's idea. I'll probably make it one day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no no one stealing. Might steal your idea. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No. Yeah. Copyright. Sure. This is proof of concept right here, this podcast. It's true, but nobody could steal it because it only exists in my head in the way that it's meant to exist. <laughs> nobody can steal the idea. Someone can have a, a shitty knockoff. Exactly. Someone can do it half-assed. Right. But it'll never be the true vision of Sean Khan. No, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. 
Um, um, oh, wait. So you were saying, like, I have a bunch of notes in the in-between of, like, episode, like, what what did you say? Like, four and ten? Um, yeah, right. There is some, like, really funny stuff. Like, episode five, like, the, the whole exam process, whatever. Like, I like how all the other heroes show up dressed up all, like, tough or whatever. Yeah. Um, Saitama just wears a Speedo the entire time. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. Um, yeah, and, like, the, the only reason he's there is just because he wants fans and he just wants to be acknowledged. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, the episode before, he's like, no one knows who I am. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, like, with the bald guy. Yeah. Yeah, that's, like, yeah. no one recognizes him, so they think he's part of the, the crew. Anyway, sorry, go on. Yeah, no, that was it. That was all I have to say about that. Okay. Um, in a way, cool. like, so, a thought that crossed my mind throughout this whole series was Saitama is, like, the poor, struggling artist. <laughs> <laughs> like he keeps doing this thing and like devoting his life to something that he loves, and he's getting no it's recognition like for it. Job. Nobody knows his name. Yeah, yeah. Even like, though he doesn't, he does say it's a hobby initially. That's true. It's like being the I best mean, like musician in your neighborhood, yeah. but nobody fucking knows because they've never heard any of your stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's really that's funny. the thing though. He doesn't really try though. That's yeah. why he doesn't ever get that's true. Recognition. Yeah. Well, like, I'm there sure was could. a time when he did try, but then he became the best, and he yeah. could no longer try because if he did, because <laughs> he's just jaded. Yeah. Exactly, he's jaded. <clears throat> Also, um, oh, there was another thing I was going to bring up about the show. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, his sidekick, the cyborg dude, who I, whatever, genitals, genitals yeah. Genitals. Um, he, he's like the Raiden yeah. to Saitama's snake, snake like <laughs> solid snake. He's just a blonde cyborg. <laughs> a, oh, yeah, and Raiden be, like, becomes insanely a insanely right? cool dude. Yeah. Who, like, yeah. shows you all the cool action you want to see his fucking arm explode. Yeah, and, and he, shit. like, runs around and, like, yeah. is it? Yeah. Yeah. He leaves like huge like dust trails behind him. He's yeah. like so dynamic in his movements, and he's like yeah, and he like gets the shit beaten out of him multiple yeah, yeah. times. And he's like the classic like yeah. shonen trope where it's like I've got to get stronger. It's yeah. like I've got to like get better than myself now. Yeah. And it's like that's like the relatable character. People yeah. are like that doesn't scare people away from it when they yeah. like come to it and they're like oh I've watched anime like this before. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see where this goes. But it's like it's a joke. His whole character is a joke. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. That, there's it's even funny. that whole thing in episode six where i think he asks him how he can get better and then one punch man is just like off the top of his head he's like oh your body is like strong because you're a cyborg you have to train your mind yeah, yeah then he just oh, starts yeah. writing down he's, he's like, like i can't believe he's buying yeah. this like, <laughs> the the fact that yeah. Bullshit. yeah he's like i don't know what to tell him i just strength train i just came up with that why does he believe <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that stuff was great oh man yeah, that's pretty good. I can't wait to see what season two's about, because they're making that now, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I haven't kept up with any news regarding that. No, yeah, I'll just watch it when it's out. Yeah, yeah whatever. Um, hopefully it's soon, because this is like a pretty... Like, it's been a couple of years since this came out. Mm-hmm. Well, it ended at the very end of 2015, oh, and yeah. this is the beginning so of 2017 now. Just yeah. a year and a bit. Um, but the OVAs were all through at the beginning of 2016. So oh, okay. really? it's been a bit yeah, of a yeah. They weren't trickled in between the episodes themselves. They came all after. They all came oh, after. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. they were just filling in blanks. Exactly. Yeah. 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 yeah I wonder what the next season is going to be like because it started off really episodic, and then toward the end, like that whole arc at the end of those invaders the from the heroes. aliens and like right. the other heroes, yeah. it started to become a little more serial. There's yeah, there's definitely it's something in store with the other heroes, especially with the blue haired guy who's like at the top of A rank. Yeah, who's he's oh like yeah, because yeah, because I was like wondering why he he's commanding them around and being a dick, and then he says like, oh, I stay in A yeah, one so that I can I stop can anyone. The yeah, people I can stop people from progressing to S rank. Yeah. 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 Also, at first, it seemed like at like at the beginning of the series, it seemed like S rank was just some kind of bullshit that like the higher ups put people into because they want them to be there really like when they I... let in the cyborg dude genitals <laughs> they're just like oh oh man we need to get this guy an s rank so we can like and i thought it was because they want to keep an eye on him and maybe all the s rank people aren't even that tough they're just there so that like oh the that's higher not... up of the yeah that's not how i them. saw it at all you know how like okay you know in like Mega Man or like any sort of like game like that where it's like you know you see like a silhouette of what the bosses are in the future. Sure, yeah. And it's like, oh, there's this like big, scary, looming character right. that I'm gonna encounter eventually. Right. Um, like that's what like the mention of S rank was for me when I was like, oh, like there's a bunch of like really cool, potent like heroes that are like gonna be 
uh, thrown into the story somehow eventually. Really? Um, yeah. But it, well, yeah. It was no, like, I thought that too. It was too. like a build up for me. I was like, oh man. And then when we got to see them in episode ten, that's why it wasn't so much of like a like an X Men thing for me, where I was like, well, oh, it's just a fucking League of Heroes. I was like, oh, here they all are. I wonder what they can do. And like, I wonder. Well, I mean, they're... I thought all those things too. It's not that me not thinking that at the beginning made me like uh, jaded to this whole X Men yeah. factor of the show. <laughs> It's just that I knew they were coming and I wanted to see them, but I didn't want so much of the focus to be on them. I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah. What it, uh, what I'm saying about the whole S rank thing is that we were introduced to the S rank through some higher ups in an office saying, yeah, like, right. "Oh, look at that cyborg man. We need his body. We need to need, we need to see like <laughs> what's going on he in his mechanical his body. body." Yeah. And I thought they were gonna like experiment on him and all this shit, and possibly like the whole hero ranking system was like a ruse, ruse and the people uh, at the top is just like they get the most powerful people right. and they like experiment on them and stuff but that's probably just like the show trying to fuck with me again mm-hmm. showing like hey this trope that you might be used to it's not there again well yeah. a, a good point though that I guess what you just made me think of is who they say is the samurai guy said to him don't trust uh, the uh, robot dude yeah <laughs> Yeah, no. Who they say? Knight, oh, Metal Knight. Don't trust yeah. Metal Knight. And Metal Knight's always after like the newest technology and stuff. And so Knight's maybe that wasn't asshole. directed just, or maybe that wasn't directed at anyone just specifically. Genos, like, hey man, he's interested in you. Right. Maybe I don't yeah. know. I'm just like based yeah. on what you're thinking. Like, right? Yeah. It's like because it them seems are like there's something too. It's yeah. Like some of the heroes, like their abilities are like more or less in line with each other. It's right. Like, did we really need two or like three different guys in like metal suits of armor who are kind of robots? Right. Yeah. Know. Also, what's that little kid's specialty? He just has like a backpack. Oh, he's, he's like, like really Dr. smart Octopus. or some shit. Like, yeah, he's like yeah. Doc Ock, but he's like a, a prodigy or whatever. So he's like yeah. really smart. But like, could they kick his ass? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, what did he do? Like, what did he do during that last fight? Like, nothing. I don't remember. He just I mean, stood there. He had also, his robot arms out. Yeah. But I don't know if he did. He's anything. like, here they are. <laughs> also, Genos was pretty useless for the last two episodes. He just stood there being like, oh, I wish I could help Sensei. Yeah, right? pretty much, yeah. Which is like, I, I don't know, that was a kind of a weird choice because oh, yeah, there was that knew. whole fight going on on the ground in front yeah, of the ship. with yeah. the regenerator guy. And like a couple heroes were there, but Genos was just kind of just standing there like, what should we do with that like, was that he, jacked I, I feel like he didn't even like, pay attention oh, don't hurt that. him. What? I feel like I didn't even pay attention. Oh yeah, yeah he was weird. Like the only black superhero. Yeah, him. <laughs> the guy who was like, everyone's looking at my gun, sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which is great. Yeah, him that. and the little kid and then the telekinetic green girl thing. Yeah. Green hair girl. They were just hanging out doing nothing. And then she even came and helped them out. The guy, the, yeah. the superheroes She's fighting. Like, the she help? like turned the missiles around and then she just booked it. She didn't yeah. even help them finish off the guy, which is weird. Yeah, that was strange. Oh, and a bunch of people, like other people who I was like excited to see just dip, like the pig god, the guy who's just constantly shoving yeah. burgers. And oh, they yeah. explained that in OVA, yeah. like he just went home to eat or yeah. something. Yeah, he just got hungry, yeah. so he left. It's so weird. Yeah. I don't um, know, man. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. I also, like, okay, yeah. so the boss at the, the last boss, the one that apparently... Has like, no equal. Yeah, like Saitama the, says, like, he finally found somebody who was, like, really strong. Yeah. But really, like, he just does another series of consecutive punches. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that's the thing. Like, obliterates him. Like, the guy was like, oh, you were holding back, weren't you? Yeah. And then he's just like, he, like, looks off in the distance or whatever, and he, like, doesn't respond. But you yeah. know he was holding back. Right, yeah, yeah. But, for what it's worth, this guy was, was the, the only strongest. person... Yeah. who didn't die after one punch That's right true, because yeah. there's someone else that he fights after he's like back to one punch again yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. when he literally explodes it also yeah. the evil guy at the end looks exactly like Brawly. Brawly from yeah Brawly, yeah except he's purple and he has one eye <laughs> oh yeah. Brawly, yeah 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 yeah, yeah. no i know yeah yeah he does is yeah. wasn't that like brawley's like motive i don't remember it's been to a long what? time oh to destroy worlds or something yeah he's just like a world destroying saiyan but i think also the first to kill kakarot oh probably also the first First bad guy in uh, in One Punch Man looked like Purple Piccolo. Oh yeah, that oh, was exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> like, right. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, what, what is? It? Yeah, did yeah, Toriyama that was have a hand in this? It's like, maybe no, that yeah. was intentional. Oh god. Um, yeah, anyway, but yeah, cool. no, I think there's like a lot of you know open ends for season two, right? Yeah, they like, can, like pursue why a lot of is the avenues. Metal Knight evil? Yeah. Who's number one in S rank? Who's, what's the blue guy? Blue haired soap opera star? Yeah, what's he up to? Yeah, what's he up to? Is genitals ever going to become stronger? Probably not. Yeah. I feel like that's his <laughs> entire shtick. Is like yeah. he's like, how does he do it? Yeah, like that's the whole thing. Right. Yeah. Um, um, will Saitama find anyone stronger to fight? Probably not. Probably not. Yeah. Probably We're just a lot more a lot frustration. 
Oh, wait, you know what's really funny? That one fight where Saitama encounters the giant dude who has his brother on his shoulder, and his brother's like, yeah. smack him oh, yeah. on his shoulder, and then he kills his brother. <laughs> he just like, smack, and then he, it takes him a second, and yeah. he looks at his hand, and he's like, <laughs> just like freaks out. Yeah, it was like intensely silly. Like, that was the like logistics the first episode, of that fight it? don't even make oh, sense. Oh my god. That might have been the first or second. Yeah, yeah, I forget. Also, just the fact that like, it's so gory. It's like, yeah. his brother's just a bloodstained, like, smear on his hand. Mm-hmm. Just, there's just clothes oh. where he used to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was oh, pretty good, God. though. Yeah, no, yeah. I enjoyed that. Man, there's so many times where Genos just gets, like, fucked up. Oh, yeah. Like, he's his first body when, just trashed. Yeah, in, like, the third episode or something, when it, him and Saitama, like, enter a building and they're walking down a corridor... And, like, the evil guy who's in that building rushes down the hallway to oh, find yeah. them. And just, like, smacks so Genos into three. a wall. Yeah. <laughs> and so oh, he, like, breaks Saitama's just back. like, oh, oh, I guess my friend's dead now. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. It's like, wait. It's like, obliterated. It's like your, your body parts are all rearranged. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> um, yeah, wait. How long have we been going? I think... You know, I have no idea because I've been trying to figure out how to change it from seconds to bars. Oh, sorry, from bars to seconds, and I haven't figured that out. That's fine. It doesn't even matter. It's fine. Do you um, still have your timer going? I don't have my timer going, but, well, like, we can wrap up whenever. Yeah, I think so. Do you guys so. have any more things, like, that are important to say um, about the show? Should we talk about um, the uh, the Deep Sea King who has hearts for nipples? Um, Wait, I didn't notice oh. that part. <laughs> he, he, <laughs> Sean just did the sound. He, oh. <laughs> no, he, uh, he <laughs> occupies that, that void where you just kind of, like, glazed over i guess where you just kind of like yeah he was in like episode like right. eight or something yeah, yeah. Like he was like i guess the other like big continuing yeah, yeah yeah that was the first time they continued from one episode to the next yeah, yeah. genos um, does also get wrecked by him <laughs> yes that is true so yeah. does the bike man almost oh yeah bike man almost Woman dies or whatever and then everyone takes Justice credit so for good. oh man you know what drove me nuts what? was like the smart ass in like yeah, the, the shelter. Crowd, he's like, the one who's oh, like, yeah. oh, I bet he didn't even go the bit, the bit, the bit. Yeah. Like, oh God. Yeah, it pissed like, me off too. Probably the first guy to have a Reddit account. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the troll. Yeah. The one troll that they put in this entire series. Yeah. Um, yeah, he Rumpel drove me Stoltzkin crazy. Over here. Yeah. Huh? I said a fucking Rumpel Stoltz guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was gross. But it was also funny. Yeah. Um, so, a, a bunch of things in the show, yeah. maybe not a bunch, maybe just the idea of Saitama in that one episode where those dudes don't want to work, Yeah, uh, made me think of, like, the artist struggle. It made me think, like, <laughs> that's, like, secretly what this is trying to be about. Maybe the creator of the show is trying to say something, like, how do you become the best? I don't know, you're just born with it. How do you make one of the best animes of the year? I don't know, you just make it. And people want to emulate you. Whoa. Like Cyborg Genitals, man. That was deep. Yeah. I don't the writer is also named One. That's all it goes by. Actually? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. Right, yeah, you're right. So, um, well, maybe this is, like, biographical to some extent. Maybe he's yeah. like, oh, wait. I'm going to tell him Like, how do you be the story. best? I don't know. You just <laughs> do it. It's something within yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. It doesn't... It doesn't what do you do it for? For personal fulfillment? <laughs> this guy didn't have a publisher for One Punch Man, I believe, the manga. Oh, he, yeah. It was a webcomic. Yeah, it was a webcomic. He was making yeah. it, like... Essentially for himself, I guess. Interesting. So yeah, it's like maybe it's just like greatness. Maybe that's what you have to do. Fucking, <laughs> fucking Drake over here, shit. dude. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. That's yeah. what I have to say. That's like my final thought on the show. Maybe there's like some greater message about all this like monotonous that the is world of anime and like pretty neat. What are you saying? I I don't about, like, think the rest of it. I saw like a, a huge. Well, I mean, like now that you bring it up. It's yeah. like, that's cool. I mean, don't get I me wrong. I think that. it's like, I saw what I wanted to see. And yeah, yeah. I was like, <laughs> see, is this really here? But there was like enough <laughs> of it there that I'm like, huh, maybe this maybe is Maybe it is. Yeah. Uh, see, I wasn't digging for like a deeper meaning necessarily when I was watching the whole thing. Right. I wasn't really looking for it. I was just like, wow, this is really interesting how this kind of throws all of these established conventions on its head. Yeah. And that's it's what so I popular kind of thought of it. and it just kind of makes fun of itself and like, right. I guess the genre. And I was like, this is great. I like that. He had the balls to do this, whoever made this. Yeah, right. I just liked how self-aware it was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it was really good. Um, so is that it? Are we done? I think that's all I have to say. I guess. I, yeah, Besides I don't really have like anything a else. pretty damn just... funny show and not taking itself too seriously. Pretty jokes. Yeah, that was pretty, it was pretty legit. Yeah. I enjoyed that. Um, 
So I guess that's us talking about One Punch Man. Yep. That was our discussion on One Punch Man. Maybe maybe, maybe we'll get together and talk about like Mob Psycho 100, 100. or yep. like One Punch Man season yeah. 2. Yeah. Yeah. I guess to talk we'll about We'll see one, how this goes even. Yeah, to yeah. talk about One Punch Man season 2, I'll need to watch the sub if we're going to talk yeah, about I guess it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah. yeah that'll maybe be you should go back and rewatch the sub. Uh if I'm going to do that, it probably like be right before season yeah, yeah, 2. Yeah, 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 that would make yeah. sense. Yeah. Um yeah, that'll be interesting. Maybe you guys should go back and watch the, the dub. dub? That'd be, hey, oh, we do yo, a shit. Yeah, yeah. And then we go into season two forgetting what the dub sounds yeah, like. Yeah, and I go into it knowing like it's fresh <laughs> off. So you're always going to watch the dub <laughs> yeah. and we'll watch the subs. <laughs> That'd be really interesting. Yep. Mm, There's only a that. limited amount of times you could do that, though. Yeah. Especially as new as the show is get. And yeah. And try to keep up with the dubs. Oh, yeah. Sure. Um, yeah, so I guess next up, by the same guy, Mob Psycho, Mob Psycho 100. 100. I'm That's next? stoked as shit. Yeah, maybe. Okay, I mean, cool. potentially. It's supposed to be a good show. And the main character's face looks just the like same. One Punch Man's face. It's, it's the same dead deadpan, eyes, yeah. nothing behind the eyes. Yeah. Dead eye, fucking. Yep, that's it. Yeah. And maybe you know, if anyone listens to this, if they have suggestions, oh, yeah, for right. something we if, should review. If you listen to this, or maybe we'll we, cut this part of the podcast out if we don't want your suggestions. <laughs> 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 we'll just like revoke this. Yeah. But that would be great if yeah. anyone has suggestions. I guess out there, find so us, stalk us, contact us. Uh, some way or another. Oh, also tell us what you think of One Punch Man. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Audience engagement. Like, favorite joke, even. Because, I don't know, there's a lot of funny shit, like, I've probably forgotten now. Yeah. But I could use a reminder. Also, the kid's face who looks like balls. Oh, my God. In the first episode. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jesus. His face (laughs) came to me. It's just came to me. balls. I wrote it down. I think Saitama makes a note of that. He's like, something's wrong with your face. I don't know what he says. Yeah, no, no. He doesn't ever explicitly acknowledge it as, like, him having nuts for a face. It's just like, this child... Dylan just, just Dylan just brought the picture up. Oh, yeah, it's like, it's like <laughs> he says something like, like his face is not cute. Yeah, 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 it's like this is not a cute child. <laughs> yeah, Jesus he's like debating about whether to save him. <laughs> yeah, it's like <laughs> oh, I actually like, have not, it. But man, this kid isn't cute, cute at all. <laughs> but man, this kid is. Uh, I love how that's the deciding factor. Anyway, it's like yeah. should I save this child's life from this crab demon <laughs> coming to ripping and <laughs> ripping a fucking new things. asshole? Yeah, no, that's so it's stupid. Like, it is well, um, yeah. anyway. I'm sure there yeah. are more moments like that. So exactly. Yeah. No. So, let us know what we yeah. missed if we fucked up and didn't um, yeah. cover everything important. Let us know if uh, I'm an idiot for appreciating dubs, or um, let me know if you appreciate dubs just like I do. Yeah. I cool. grew up on them. Uh, okay. In fact, vote which one should we crucify? <laughs> Who's oh the God. biggest idiot of the three of us? Whoever gets the most votes will not be on the next episode. <laughs> yes. Because we'll uh, actually uh, crucify them. Anyways. And that's not a joke. <laughs> um, if you've been listening, thanks for listening. Because um, we're stupid. It. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. That's it. All right. Okay. Bye. Peace out. One Bye. punch. <laughs> One punch. All right.